uh, a gallery, it's maybe a spirit, uh -huh. it's maybe a certain idea of art, it's all, all of that. While I was 15 I had a long illness and in hospital I had some very nice uh, sisters and they gave me books on art and I guess that's how it started actually. After that I met uh, artists uh, in a nearby village and uh, I think that's the beginning of being busy with art. I had a friend, and she was uh, a painter. Through her I heard names that I had never heard before. I'm thinking of the collector Willem Ude. He was the first to discover Picasso and uh, uh, then he discovered the whole naive school, Henri Rousseau and people like that. Ude was a German critic, writer and collector and a great discoverer of art and artists. So then I, I bumped into people from Bobsvede. It's one of the big villages with an artist called Paula Modersund Becker. Modersund Becker is one of the great uh, uh, expressionist artists in northern Germany. Why open a gallery? We just thought it was a business like any other business and it uh, was a very hard business. I mentioned before Becca Modersohn, I think it's, it's a, a woman who caught uh, with very very small means uh, the spirit of people she painted. I haven't uh, known this man behind me, Auguste Herbin. I feel that his life was dedicated to art, he was dedicated to his art, and that the art reflects that dedication. He still is not very well known, but he has 20 people since 50 years that follow him, that worshipped him, people being artists, that think he was the man they could trust to push a certain art further. If you're talking about Warhol, I don't think him as an icon at all. For me, Warhol is a perfect example of publicity. He has probably done something very important, but today it's overdone. And he didn't want to be an icon. He just lived a crazy way of life and people liked that. I think the most important for yourself as a gallerist is to feel well with the artist art you handle. An artist is like what he paints. And I felt very, very comfortable with the constructive people. They were very straightforward. You don't need to fight when you buy art. If you have to fight to buy art, you have to fight to sell it, then you have to fight to get paid. So I really think you have to exclude as many fights as you can. There is nothing that is what we call spontaneous in art, never. I mean, all the Damien Hirst of the world go back to Duchamp. But sometimes an artist who takes something from another one does it and does it better. Picasso and Braque. Braque invented it, but Picasso was a better cubist. The artist I have in my gallery right now killed himself in 1981. He had no echo whatsoever in the 70s. He had broken up with a certain art he was doing in the 50s where he was quite successful. Then he had a white period, he went back to, back to color, 
And nobody wanted that art. Nobody liked it. And it was highly spiritual. At, at one point in time, he couldn't bear the pressure anymore, the non-pressure, the void. There was no answer. So there's the two things, it has to be balanced. Some people have to like the art.